Hey guys, so today, this is completely random. I was not planning on filming today whatsoever. Um, I have like no makeup on. I'm a mess. I worked all day. Um, but I am wearing my uh, Patriots jersey, my new one that I just got. So, and they won today, and I'm extra excited about it. Um, today, I just wanted to do like a, a mukbang or mukbang. I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, one of those like videos where you kind of just eat and just chill, and it's a very laid back video, very personal um, video, and just kind of wanted to talk to you guys. Because the first thing I wanted to say is, oh my god, I woke up to a thousand subscribers this morning and the feeling that I have had all day is just absolutely insane. Um, I'm just truly, truly, truly blessed. Uh, my goal for the past few months have been to get to a thousand subscribers and, um, my yearly goal that I made when I first made my channel was to get to 300 subscribers by the end of the year and I am at a thousand and it's just so crazy and I cannot believe it um, but yeah here we are we made it and it's all thanks to you guys so thank you so much I am officially opal level now um, which just means that there are so many more benefits I get from YouTube and therefore it creates so much more opportunity. I can now visit YouTube spaces, which are in LA and New York, and I'm so, so excited for that. I will be making a trip out there um, eventually to check out the YouTube space and make videos in there, maybe just make a couple videos. Um, so there's just like amazing opportunities heading my way, and it's all thanks to you guys, and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, tonight I made, now I'm not eating this whole plate so don't worry, um, but I made a stir fry, steam in on it, and I made it from, um, I cooked seitan for the first time tonight and it turned out amazing and if you want a recipe on this I would totally do that for you guys. Um, it came out so good and yeah, so I'm just like eating some of it not all of it. When I cook, I cook for the whole week. Um, so, yeah. I have, like, all of my food here. As you can see, I cooked, like, so much of it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm extra excited because I'm home and I get to eat and I have a thousand subscribers. And it's just been a really good Sunday. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> I literally never eat a meal without water with apple cider vinegar. Hands down, my ultimate addiction is apple cider vinegar. And I know a lot of people think that it's disgusting and some weird ass health drink, but it is extremely, it's if. It's one of the healthiest things for you, um, but I also love the taste, and I know most people don't, but I'm not one of them. Oh my god, I freaking love it, and I'm to the point now where if I drink water, it has to have apple cider vinegar in it. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just feel so good whenever I have it, too. Like, I just feel alive I guess is the only word to use when it comes to apple cider vinegar so yeah um what else I went to Portland and I will be making a vegan and Portland video because I went to I was only there for um three days basically but I ate so much food I tried all these different restaurants because Portland is known to be one of the biggest like vegan cities in the US and it's also the craft beer city so it's a city for me for sure um, yeah it was oh my god I had such a great time when I was out there um, I'll get into more detail in my Portland video about like all the food and everything but just in general like all the people are so nice out there 
there's a lot of hippies and hipsters and stuff like that but um everyone is so so nice and everything is so artsy apparently there is an art tax that you have to pay every year like no matter your income if you live in portland so it's like a big art city and i don't know it was just awesome and i went there to visit my aunt and my cousins and it was my cousin's birthday um so i spent the nights with them and i spent the days by myself because they were at work so i just ubered around the city and did a lot of exploring on my own and i ate pretty much everywhere on my own and i loved it and i met some awesome awesome people um, and it was just a great experience overall. I love traveling by myself. I find it so peaceful and like just relaxing. There's no one with you to stress you out. And yeah, um, so it was a great, great trip and I'm so happy I did it. It was so short and like spontaneous. Like I booked the flight three days before I was gonna go, but um, I feel like the spontaneous things in life are always the best decisions and like the funnest times so yeah I'm very glad that I did that um yeah I'm just I don't know I just wanted to make like a short little video of just me hanging out and talking to you guys like we're friends because we are friends um even though I don't get to see you um but yeah I um I haven't really gotten a chance to post a lot of videos in the past few months and I apologize for that Life's been crazy, but I'm back on my feet. My ankles all better. I'm in sneakers now, so I'm doing very well, and I am very ready to make YouTube my priority again. Um, and I told you this in the last video, I will be posting one every week. So yeah, you guys are gonna have you guys are gonna have a few this week actually because I'm going to be doing an unboxing slash review video that I am so excited about. A company called Wild Ivy has sent me um, her products. She's an amazing, amazing person. And she's sending me all of her vegan and cruelty-free perfumes. And I know a lot of you are subscribed to me because of my um, fragrance experience and just like watching fragrance videos. Um, well, this one I am for sure, I've never been more excited in my life to make a video um, ever. Uh, because this is what I came on YouTube to do, to promote cruelty-free and vegan brands and products that I truthfully enjoy. And whenever companies do send me products, I make sure that they know that they can send me their products as long as they're okay with me giving an honest review. Because I will never, never, never lie to you guys, ever. I would never lie to myself either. Um, and I created this channel for one reason and one reason only to help people and to just have fun to express myself and to just give tips on um, things that could help the planet animals and us people so yeah um, I'm wicked excited for that video so that's coming this week another video that's coming this week is um, my Portland video like I said I'm also making more videos for FragranceNet, which all of my FragranceNet videos went live on their YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to FragranceNet, go do that. Just type it in the search bar and go to channels and it's the first one. Um, and they also posted them on their website for specific fragrances. I did La Vie Belle, J'adore Eternity. Um, Flower Bomb and Angel. Um, so those are the fragrances that I did. So go to fragrancenut.com and then click on each one of those fragrances to view the videos I did if you don't want to watch them on YouTube. Um, it might be easier for you to just go on YouTube though because they're all right there. But extra, extra exciting that I'm officially on their website and their YouTube channel. So 
I'm extra psyched about that. And there's just been um, another another company, another fragrance company is going to be sending me stuff soon. Uh, it's a UK based brand and I'm wicked excited about that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and have a real conversation with you guys and kind of just, I'm literally eating dinner right now, so I can't get more casual than this. So freaking good. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I've never made seitan before. Like I've had it at restaurants and it's my favorite thing in the entire world. But like making it is like, oh, it's so, so good. I just gotta learn like, this is my first time making it. So like it's a little blander than I would like it to be, but it's still very flavorful because I use cinnamon, agave nectar, um, uh, Bragg's Aminos, um, and I used vegetable broth, uh, but yeah, the, the cinnamon gives it a little bit of a kick, same with the agave nectar, which is the perfect substitute for honey. It tastes the exact same, I swear, like there's no difference except you're not killing bees, which is awesome, of course, so... Other than that, I've just been working a lot, and that's really it. There's nothing special really going on in my life right now that I can think of. Nothing, like, interesting, at least. But please let me know if you guys have any ideas for any upcoming videos. That would be great, because always need ideas um, but I do have a few in mind that I will be doing in the next few weeks that I am excited about I'm just excited to start making videos that I really have been wanting to make since I started this channel and just haven't had the time to so um, yeah I'm just big big things coming like I always say and I literally feel like it's been true like since the beginning something big has happened like every month it's something new and I'm just so blessed and thankful for all of you all of my subscribers I love you guys so so much and yeah I think this is it for this video just a random uh, chit chat video I guess you could say slash like mukbang except like I, I do like feel weird eating on the camera I will say like I don't know like a lot of people like watching these videos like they're big but like, I don't know, I gotta get used to it. Uh. All right, well, <clears throat> before I go, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I made for the week. Uh, so let me show you. Right here I have cauliflower, enough definitely for the week. And then underneath I have broccoli for the week. Um, I have, I don't know if you can see it, but vegetable medley for the week. Um, I have Yukon Gold potatoes. You can never ever go wrong with potatoes. They're one of the healthiest things that you could ever eat. They have almost every nutrient you need for every day, if you didn't already know that. I have mushrooms that I'm just going to kind of mix in with my stir fry whenever I want it. And I made long grain brown rice enough for like two weeks. So, um, yeah, life with a uh, rice cooker. Game changer, let me just tell you. It saves so much time and you save so much more money when you buy rice in the bulk than you do if you buy them in the packages just just a little tip buy your rice in bulk um so yeah that's, that's what i made for the week um and of course my stir fry so yeah um i have like other like little canned things like canned sweet corn um peas and yeah that's 
pretty much what I have. So I have a lot of veggies in my diet and I have recently gone um, pretty much raw, like whole foods only. Um, yeah, so besides the seitan, this, this doesn't count. But um, in case you didn't know, seitan is wheat gluten. And you can pretty much flavor it to taste like anything you want. And it really does taste like meat. Like once you get the flavoring right, like oh, it's so, so good. I like it. I like it way more than tofu personally. Um, so yeah, just a little fun fact. But okay, I will go now because it's getting, it's actually getting late. Like, why am I eating dinner at 7.50 right now? But this is my life. I cook for like four hours and then I get home from work, I cook for four hours and then I eat extra late. And yeah, then I made this video. <laughs> All right, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.